Hello and welcome to the Horoscope Vault, a podcast that explores the day's astrology for each and every sign. And if you've ever felt like things would be a little bit easier with a bit of foresight instead of getting knocked off of your path every so often by all these circumstances that leave your jaw on the floor, then this is the show for you. Tune in for your daily and weekly astrology predictions and outlooks and discussions on bigger meaning solar system ascent situations with real life applications. I'm Charlie, an associate member of the American Federation of Astrologers and Astrology Reader for Radio The Bob and Sherry Show. And this episode is for Thursday, the 11th of July, 2024. And life is doing so many things that are wildly out there, it might be time to explore new concepts in feeling prepared for this roller coaster experience in human body. I'll forecast using the sun in your sign as the first house point of the chart, which is called the solar charting method. But if you listen to the horoscope for your rising sign, that's going to be very event aligned too. If you don't know what your rising sign is, use the calculator in the show notes below to find out. And if you're privy to the information of the earth and soul signs in astrology, then go ahead and listen to those as well. And if not, make sure you're following the show to find out what your earth and soul signs are and why they're so important. But mainly, if you're just curious about astrology, then this is the place to explore that curiosity comfortably with trust. So today's aspect is Venus trying a retrograde Neptune at 29 degrees and 54 minutes of each of their signs, Venus in Cancer, Neptune in Pisces. And 29 degrees, 54 minutes is critical degree. It's basically six minutes away from it turning into the next sign. So it's so pinnacle, it's so pivotal, which makes sense because also today Venus moves into Leo, which is going to be explored in a full separate exclusive episode for subscribers, looking at the dated predictions of that transit for your sign. So make sure you are subscribed for that extra special content with the special content just being a more deep diving outlook of that particular cycle. I'll also link that in the show notes below. And thank you for bearing with me with all of these episode releases. I am working through some of your readings, which are absolutely amazing to do. There are so many cool charts that have made their way to me. So I feel very grateful to be able to work with you at this like pivotal point of not just your evolution, but what I see is the evolution of kind of everything. But bringing it back to today, in general, today could be full of realizations born out of fantasy ideas. So this is like daydreaming. This is a lot of daydreaming. Like where you have these really big visions and then you're like, okay, this vision is quite out there. And you come back to reality. There's no pain. There's no upset. You can actually enjoy the figments of your imagination and the creative tracks that your mind go off on with a lot of tolerance and compassion for everything in the world as a whole. And this does mean if there are emotions bubbling beneath the surface, you might hold them back. You might mask them well, especially as you kind of know that any feeling that you are feeling is fleeting. It's born of the imagination, as mentioned. You know, like the feeling you had for the famous person on your bedroom wall as a teen. You know, the poster or the magazine pull out of the person that you were crushing on during the teenage years. So there's this possible energy of crushing on someone today, too. That's, you know, an entire thing of its own. There's this tendency towards something or someone where you know it's not going to go anywhere, but you enjoy the idea of it anyway. And that's because Venus is to do with love and it's to do with connection, and it's also to do with food and finances. So feeling good and eating good today is possible. And also finances, you might be rather generous there, which if if you can be, then go ahead, tip good and share the wealth. But if you can't, then don't feel bad about it either. Each horoscope is time stamped below for your convenience. Thursday 11th of July 2024 for Aries. The finance part hits you massively. And it's a costly trip that's pending or some home costs today that are unavoidable. And they might be slightly pleasant expenditures, so it's not exactly painful. You stay at home with ease. You spend time at home pretty comfortable enjoying your own company and not doing much because you know something fun is on the horizon soon. And overall, 
you always attract back any income you spend. It's like one of those what goes around comes around matters. So there is some enjoyment in a little bit of spending money today in costs for something amazing. So don't be hard on yourself. Let yourself be cool with it. And I guess spend that money. Thursday 11th of July 2024 for Taurus. This is your ruling planet Venus involved in this aspect. So you might get a personally directed compliment or some attention that you don't want. Or it might be attention from someone that you wish was not paying you any attention. You know, like being asked out by someone that you have zero interest in. Or it's just undesirable advances from people. And you can't really push it away and be mean about it. Well, like you can, but it just wouldn't be right to do that. So it's more like considering everything that comes towards you with a compassionate energy, because this is a compassionate aspect. Today, you will go ahead and simply mask how you truly feel. And you'll just say thank you to whatever others are sharing with you regarding how they feel or how you make them feel. Thursday 11th of July 2024 for Gemini. Someone asking to borrow some cash or borrow something, like they're asking for help in some way. This can be quite a tough one because compassion is increased so you want to say yes and you want to help. And things have been okay recently, so you feel like you can help, but you might be a little bit too confident in your resources instead of being cautious. And it's not to say that you don't have what you need, it's more like saying that you don't know what's coming, right? So Anything you give away now, whether it's time or money or food or energy, any kind of resource, you might later down the line wish you had conserved a little bit more. So be aware of that today. Thursday 11th of July 2024 for Cancer. Venus in your sign may be some romantic feelings or similar that are fleeting. And anything similar to a romantic feeling could be, you know, a passing interest in something. You know, when you say, oh, I so want to do this thing. And it's something like going back to school for a subject or it's taking a trip or something like that. And that feeling ends up fading away in a few days. So it's about not acting on any flights of fancy today, not acting on an impulse that feels like it would be nice to act on because it probably would be nice, but it's not necessary. On the topic of travel, an upcoming trip or an idea of moving requires you to get your money game in order which it will for this next month because Venus going into Leo will be your solar second house. So money is coming. Don't fear lack because it's definitely coming. It's just that the best approach for you now is the good old way of saving cash, like in a shoebox. And that sounds weird as far as predictions go. But get a literal shoebox or any box and start putting cash in there from today onwards. Even if it's just a few dollars, it sets the intention. And then future you is going to be glad that you started today. Thursday 11th of July 2024 for Leo. There is no more image to uphold, at least not for today. You get a sample of what it feels like to just be the person you're growing into, to just be yourself. There are changes up ahead that offer you a more peaceful future. And today is like a chance to live at more of a chill pace. The only thing that could really get in the way of that are some repressed emotions that you feel about how much things are changing and it's like even though you're happy with these adjustments and these changes there's still a grieving period where you say goodbye to the old version of yourself as this new one emerges and you hold back whatever sensations crop up about this life transition you're going through because today you know and you are sure that it's truly going to be worth it in the end. Thursday 11th of July 2024 for Virgo. Travel brings you in contact with someone who you're either cautious about or it's someone that you've known for a while and who you've been cautious about because you haven't had much time to get to know them. But in time, you actually find out that that caution was unwarranted or that they're just somehow really important or very valuable in your life. And if it's someone that you didn't meet through travel, it might just simply be someone who is from a different culture or a different country from you. It might be someone that you've met online or you've only ever chatted to by phone or something. Whomever this person is that's on your mind, You could think about them a lot today and you could even find yourself reaching out because the conversation or the camaraderie or just the feeling of connection that you had with them feels irresistible and you want to experience that now. Thursday 11th of July 2024 for Libra. So finances are a bit blah and it's from some overspending or having 
been lax in matters of money, that's to blame. And it's nothing really to be upset about because these were good, valid moments of spending. But you might take some time today calculating upcoming paychecks or just general money stuff to figure some things out. And in doing so, you do realize that it's all good. Everything adds up. You see that once you look over all the incoming and outgoings of the next few weeks, everything is fine. But you still might go over the numbers maybe more than once just to be sure to build some confidence and you spend today putting any unnecessary financial worries or anxieties to rest. Thursday 11th of July 2024 for Scorpio might be some moral realignments and they might be romantically so between you and someone else you might need to make your values clear. You tell someone who you are it's like sharing about your good heart and your morals and how You're literally like this ride or die person for someone who deserves your undivided support. And this could come about because you have held back on your views. You've been very passive in getting to know someone or being with someone. And then someone decides to ask you about the things that mean the most to you, opening the stage for you to talk about these deep things that, you know, get you going or make you excited. And this person asks because they care, because they want to know because they want to be better for you in the way that you are this ultimate support for them. So this could signify a rekindled romance or a rekindled friendship, and just more harmony in a partnership. Or this may even come thanks to a new relationship, a brand new relationship, that seems like it's going to a new level of strength. Thursday 11th of July 2024 for Sagittarius, you are called upon by your co-workers, and there's this peaceful element to this, so don't worry about it. It might just be that you've got some wisdom or some answers that they need to know. And you're super happy to help. You might help from the comfort of your home. Maybe you'll answer calls from your bed or from the couch. Or just somehow, wherever you are, you will put out professional fires. You're going to help your co-workers and be this general pillar of support. And this teamwork gets you and your work situation through a tough time or a transition time or just is about powering through where the promise on the other side is incredible professional progress. Thursday 11th of July 2024 for Capricorn. Some gentle words to somebody you love, or gentle words from somebody you love, and that you care about, and that you value. You have a lot of respect for in some way. Love can be so many different forms, it doesn't just have to be romantic. Today, you might put yourself second to another person. You hold back in order to lift someone else up. And it's not even an effort for you to do. It's not an issue or even a question that you go out and do some kind of self-sacrifice today. An immediate conversation that you have with someone takes precedence and what you have to say is so well received. And if it's the other way around, it might just somehow be a really pleasant interaction that leads to more self-enlightenment for you. Self-development comes through a relationship today. So be mindful of who you blend your energy with because there is a chance to get a lot out of any kind of one-on-one interaction that you experience. Thursday 11th of July 2024 for Aquarius. Hold back on spending because work stuff isn't really clear right now. That idea might start to build into a little bit of anxiety but try to temper that try and remember that most financial fluctuations are temporary and the opportunities to work and opportunities to earn money they ebb and flow as quickly as the moon changes sign which is every two and a half days so that is literally to say that every two and a half days your work mentality or your work dynamic shifts it would actually put Aquarius in a very good position to play the stock market because of such quick changing work rulership But just about today, if you feel like the general day is a little bit slow and airy and inconsistent, don't linger on it. Instead, just see this lull as an opportunity for a bit of meditative living. And this starts a couple of days of you letting yourself be in this ideal, utopia kind of environment. So live in domestic peace. Enjoy the domestic peace of your home and soak up the serene energy of quietness in your personal space. Because in two and a half days, is going to flip to the other end of the spectrum soon. 
Thursday 11th of July 2024 for Pisces. Think about a detox. Today is a great day to start a sugar detox or an alcohol detox or whatever your indulgence is. You might have been meaning to or intending to clean some things up like that anyway. And today is a really good day for initiating that with maximum results. And this might involve saying no to a social invitation today because you purposely want to stay away from things that might tempt you. So you might choose a phone call chat instead of an in-person meetup or hangout. And this may in part be you also fighting off a bit of low energy too. So you just don't want to be out there intermingling. And whatever it is you say no to, say no confidently and choose the option today that is best for your wellness and health. Thanks for tuning in and until tomorrow. Bye.